first thing you want to do is start off with about six locks. Now, this is depending on how thick your hair is and how thick you actually want the barrel twist to be. Even though I like to do this style when my hair is not freshly retwisted, um, I'm just giving it like a small retwist, so like a touch up. If you do not know how to twist your hair, you could definitely skip this part. <laughs> we are not forcing you to do this, sis, okay? No. So now we're just going to take one lock and we're going to start to wrap it around. I wrap mine clockwise. It's up to you whatever way you want to wrap it. It really doesn't make a difference. So all you're doing is literally wrapping one lock around all the rest of the locks. When you get towards the bottom, what I usually do is hold that one down and I wrap the next one over that. I'm going to do this a couple of times because I know this isn't the best angle to see it from. So, just try to pay attention because I'm not the best at explaining these things. I could have been doing videos if that was the case. <laughs> so, just to tell y'all a little bit about my lock journey, I am on year number five. <laughs> my hair is about 16 inches long. And I started off wanting really thick locks. I only have about 78 locks, if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah, <laughs> I decided, like, in the middle, like, I don't think the thick lock thing is for me because my arms was killing me trying to do my hair. Plus, I do everybody else's hair already, so I can't be going through the most to try to get mine done sometimes. So, when you get to the bottom, you're going to hold the other locks up, and then you're going to start to twist back up the lock. You might not have to really too much do it a lot for this one because this one is the length that I like it. This one didn't come out perfect, but I'm not looking for perfect when I do my hair in this style. If you are looking for perfect, just take your time a little bit more. Me, I change my hairstyle way too much to do my makeup looks to really care that much. So yeah, we got some imperfections over here, okay? And so I finished it off with a rubber band. I know y'all couldn't see that last part. That's why I recorded it like three more times because I knew somebody was going to be like, we didn't even see that. I was somebody too because I was kind of like, why the fuck didn't I record it right? Look at my face. <laughs> and right here, I was just trying to give it a little bit of shape because, uh, yeah, we at least wanted to be shaped a little bit. I had a little piece of over there I ain't like, so I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm just going to put some hair jewelry over there. Y'all know how that go. Um, yeah, so we're going to take six more. And typically, I would just start in the back of my head, but, I mean, how the hell y'all don't see that? So, anyway, you're going to do the same thing. Kind of give it like a slight retwist. No product. If you want to put product, you can. It's up to you. But at least not oversaturate our hair. I previously had a retwist, so I'm not about to put no more product in my hair, okay? So if you do a lot of styles like me and twist your hair up a lot like me, let's not overdo it with the product, okay? Okay, I feel like this is a better angle. So as y'all can see, I just took one of the locks and I started twisting it over all of the locks. Once I'm done with that piece and it gets a little bit short for me, I hold the other piece down and then I keep wrapping Every once in a while, you'll see me push the lock up a little bit. That's just to, like, keep it nice and tight so that I don't have to worry about it coming down on me. Because last time I did them, they was kind of loose. And I was like, eh, y'all coming down on me? It was like three days. But still, I was like, eh, I like my hair like this to do at least four or five makeup looks. And then I want my hair to be curly when I take it down. I will be posting, like, my eyeshadow looks and stuff like that. Like, I'll be showing y'all how to do my eyeshadow or whatever. But um, until I move, I just want to stick to just showing the eyeshadow part. I'm not really trying to show the makeup part. So, we are going to be trying to push forward with this even though I'm moving. And that is a lot to juggle at one time. It is what it is. Like, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> so... I'm trying to be full-fledged on my tutorials this year, and that's down to Halloween and everything because I feel like I have so much potential, and I always just set myself back by saying, like, oh, I can't do it. I don't have time to do it. Like, 
I have other things to do. Like, this is not the year for that. This is the year is I can do anything through Christ who strengthens me, even if that means doing makeup, uh, doing art, and uh, doing hair in the same day, it's going to get done. Do you understand me? So I'm I'm here for it this year, and I'm here for, like, true supporters. I'm here to interact. I'm here to get to know y'all. So whatever y'all want to know about me, just put some questions down below. If you've seen me with a hairstyle before and you want to see me reincorporate the hairstyle, just let me know. I am also down with redoing makeup looks or... If y'all send me something that y'all really like and y'all want to know how it's done, I can do that. I can't sometimes tell y'all exactly how people did it because everybody kind of has a different routine. But I can show y'all how I would do it and how I would make it happen. I also left some of my very old videos up because I want people to know where I started from and how long ago it was. I'm definitely not embarrassed by it at all. I just know that my lighting was bad. And even though I have the tools now, I'm still having issues with lighting a little bit. So, really doesn't make a difference if you have the right stuff or not. I just want you to start. So, if this is what you want to do, just start. Don't let nobody tell you that you can't. If I went off for what people told me, I would be nowhere in life. Nowhere. When I started my locks, I remember my own family would like, question me like oh are you gonna take them down are you gonna cut them off are you gonna uh you're leaving your hair like that and I was like yes I'm leaving my hair like this like why are you asking me these questions like the hell and now that I'm five years in people always oh man your hair got so long it's so beautiful it's so pretty I can't believe you stuck to it but I'm glad you did uh yeah so people will always eat their words when it comes to you pushing and thriving and doing what you're supposed to do as long as you keep going people have to change their mind about you and that's something that I'm learning as well instead of letting people bring me down I need to overcome and believe in myself so much that they, they're gonna apologize to me one day or they're gonna regret what they said to me one day that is the level of thinking that I need y'all on and that I need to stay on because listening to people you'll never get anywhere anyway here's the finished results now my makeup ain't so dusty because I set me some, uh, I put me some setting spray on there. And yeah, we're done. I put a little, a couple of charms on there that I got from the hair store a couple months ago. And I'm ready to go. I'm ready to get it. Like, uh, I'm feeling myself. Okay, so my nails are from Nail Farm. My earrings and my hair charms I got from a local hair store. <laughs> my engagement ring I got from my fiance. <laughs> But no, seriously, thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all for the support. I definitely appreciate it. Let's go.